They say that there is no such thing as an original idea when it comes to telling stories, but maybe that isn't really an accurate statement after all. Perhaps Fallout 76 could be a vehicle for a new, original form of storytelling in video games. What's up guys, Acer Thorn here, and welcome to another video game discussion video. I do these analysis videos on a regular basis, so if you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe button to stay notified. At Bethesda's E3 2019 press conference, they announced a new, upcoming DLC for Fallout 76, called the Wastelanders Expansion. This DLC purports to fix many of the most common complaints about the original Fallout 76, including a lack of human NPCs, a lack of dialogue trees, and a lack of any kind of main quest outside simply finding the right holotapes. After the trailer played, Bethesda representatives Tom Mustaine and Jeff Gardner explained that this is only Chapter 2 in the story they wanted to tell with Fallout 76. This is a long-term story we're telling. Year 1 was about the Vault Doors opening and all of you settling the wasteland. Year 2 is about people coming back to reclaim it. This got me to thinking about the possibilities for long-term storytelling in gaming, and how fulfilling such a story could be if it were done right. To show you what I mean, I would first like you to watch another video on YouTube that discusses long-term storytelling in pro wrestling. I'll put a link in the description of this video for your convenience, as well as a provide a card for this video right here. I could just give you the analysis of pro wrestling storytelling, but everything I say would be completely redundant of what this guy has to say, so I'll just direct you to his discussion instead. If you're not a fan of pro wrestling, fear not, because he explains 99% of everything you'll need to know in order to follow this discussion, and if you're worried about being bored by a video that discusses a topic you aren't even interested in, fear not, because take a look at a couple of these comments from non-wrestling fans. These should assure you that you should find the video engaging even if you're not a wrestling fan. Anyway, notice how this guy points out that because pro wrestling always takes place consistently in real time, this can open the possibilities for truly unique and extremely powerful stories that can't be told in any other media. Or can they? As this guy describes, the fact that wrestling takes place in real time is essential to this type of long-term storytelling. Well, if you stop to think about it, massively multiplayer online role-playing games have that as well. Bear in mind that there cannot be time skips in these games because there are thousands of people playing the game at any one time, all playing alongside each other. In fact, the massively multiplayer online format is distinct from any other online games because players are constantly coming into and out of the game world at will. Most other online gaming formats will start by collecting as many people as a match can hold, then creating an entirely self-contained map that only exists for that one game. Other identical copies of the map may be used for other instances of that match, but each match is entirely self-contained and, with maybe the exception of the online leaderboards, entirely independent of one another. If a player gets disconnected from the server or in any other way leaves the match, they usually cannot re-enter the same map and instead just have to wait patiently for that match to end and then start a new match and hope the problem doesn't repeat itself. The game worlds in MMORPGs, however, exist perpetually. There may be hundreds or even thousands of people at a time coming into or out of the game world at will. This means that the game worlds for MMORPGs have to exist in real time. So if you stop playing Fallout 76 at 8pm on one day, and then come back the next morning at 8am and start playing again, just as 12 hours will have passed for you, so too will 12 hours have passed in-game. This, in turn, means that the stories themselves must also take place in real time. So Vault 76 was opened in-universe on November 14th, 2102, which is the same day as the game was released in North America in the real world, but with the year being 25 years after the Great War. When the Wastelanders DLC is published and human NPCs return to Appalachia, 
we can just accept that this date in the year 2103 is the in-universe date when the human NPCs returned. So just as approximately one year will have passed in the real world in between the release of Fallout 76 and the release of Wastelanders, so too will that exact same number of days, hours, and even minutes have passed in-game between Reclamation Day and the return of the old settlers. So therefore, if video games are going to offer the sort of unique stories that have previously only been available in pro wrestling, the MMO format seems like the most likely candidate to be able to pull it off. But it goes beyond simply having stories take place in real time. Remember that video games are already capable of delivering unique types of stories that cannot be recreated in any other medium due to one unique feature of video games that cannot be reproduced in any other format. Direct audience interaction. In all other forms of storytelling, the closest the audience can get to influencing the story is through their feedback being taken into account when creating future installments in an ongoing narrative. But video games give the audience a never-before-seen ability to actively influence the pace and outcome of the story through their own direct input. You are just following the protagonist in the video games. You are the protagonist, and that gives video games a truly unique method of delivering truly unique stories. Now, imagine how unique the stories would become if you took the long-established ability of the audience to directly influence the story through their own input and combine it with the sort of long-term, real-time storytelling that professional wrestling is known for. The MMORPG genre could become a bona fide anomaly in storytelling, providing stories that are completely unique, not just to that medium, but to that specific genre. Now I must warn everyone not to get their hopes up. While this certainly provides a new opportunity to introduce new types of stories that wouldn't be otherwise possible, it is only just that an opportunity. We still need the game developers to be sufficiently creative and have enough skill in storytelling in particular to be able to pull this off effectively. Whether Bethesda has the creativity and storytelling, and specifically storytelling skills, needed for this is a different story. But even if Bethesda completely drops the ball with their goal of telling a long-term story with Fallout 76, take heart because there are other MMOs out there, and hopefully, one day, another developer can actually pull it off and give us a video game story that will be remembered as one of the greatest video game stories of all time. And that will do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to check out some of my Let's Plays, as well as my retrospective series on the Harry Potter novels. And last but not least, be sure to subscribe for more in-depth analysis and discussion of your favorite video games. In the meantime, however, I am Acer Thorn, and I will see you guys later.